there is a big difference between running on sand and to run on hard surfaces. Your body senses the differences in hardness of the surfaces and it's so incredibly cleverly designed that your leg stiffness changes automatically depending on whether you are running on hard ground or on a sandy beach. Firstly, I just want to make clear that the stiffness we are talking about here is a good thing. So we are not talking about this kind of inflexibility. It's like pole vaulting. If you have a very stiff pole and then apply a large amount of force into the pole, you will get a lot of energy return. It is like the world's best pole vaulter on Mount Plantis, who applies more force to his pole than his competitors for the simple reason that he runs much faster than they do. And then he can even have stiffer poles, which together with the power he gets from his speed makes him jump by far the highest in the world. Just like the Plantis can choose poles, with the different stiffnesses. Your body can automatically change its stiffness. If you run on a hard surface, your leg will be less stiff. They will simply be a little softer to give you a better shock absorption. And if you run on really soft ground, your legs will compensate and become a little stiffer. There is a difference between running with shoes made of marshmallows in quicksand and wearing spikes on the track. If you have soft shoes on soft ground, you doesn't get that much energy return from the stretch shortening cycle and have to use much more of your muscle power. But if it is a hard shoe on a hard surface like spikes on a track, you will probably get more energy return but increase the risk of injury. Like if you have no meniscus in your knees and it's like bone on bone. And that is not so nice. The body is quite good at changing this rather quickly. And, as I said, it is a completely automatic function. But it may also be that you get used to it being in a certain way. If you mostly run on hard surfaces, your body can get a little confused if you suddenly start to run on a soft path in the forest, which can make it feel heavier. And if you are used to running in the woods on soft ground, the body tends to be a little stiffer, which means that when you switch to running in the middle of the city, you can get problems because the body is not used to dealing with the hard surface. And the same applies for running shoes. For the body, there's not much difference between soft surfaces and really soft shoes. Something is just soft under your foot. If you are used to running in very soft shoes, your body may not like to start running in more minimalistic, hard, thin shoes. The same goes for runners who are used to five fingers or similar. Everything feels spongy and heavy in a more regular, normal running shoe because their body have a bit of soft shock absorption, which does not fit so good with the soft shoes. Since most people believe that everyone else perceives the world exactly as they do, this causes quite a lot of polarization. The way I perceive the world is normal. So if I'm used to running in one type of the shoe or on one type of surface and the shoe or the surface that is on the other end of the scale of soft and hard, it will probably feel bad and uncomfortable. That's why it's so common to hear die-hard fans of minimalistic shoes, so-called barefoot shoes, to say, once you get used to them, you never want to go back to those big clunky soft shoes that just makes running cost a lot more energy, because that's how it feels to them those who have gotten used to the thin, hard shoes. Just as the most hardcore followers of the maximalistic running shoe doctrine of the softest kind, they will try a pair of classic racing flats as they looked in the old days and say, well, those are terribly hard. I break my feet and legs when I run in them because their legs are used to soft shoes, which means that their legs are used to being very stiff hard on hard. 
just as soft shoes on soft ground is also pretty bad. And since I mentioned that there is an increased risk of injury when running with hard shoes on hard surfaces, I want to mention that there is an increased risk of injury even when everything is very, very soft. When you cannot utilize the energy return from the stretch shortening cycle, you have to compensate with more muscle work. A good example of this is anyone who, on a holiday who has had the a brilliant idea of running along the sand beach every day. After a few days there is a high risk of calf injuries as the calves have has to work harder when they are not helped by the rubber band effect in the Achilles tendon because the surface is too soft for that. And now I firmly believe that this video went from talking about how the body regulates leg stiffness to lecturing anyone who thinks you experience the world in the right way and those who don't experience the world like you are wrong. But lecturing runners is a bit of my trademark. And you have also learned that the body is quite good at adjusting how it works depending on the surface you run on. To a certain extent, of course. So if you're afraid of running on hard surfaces, it can be good to know that if you just introduce the new surface at a reasonable pace, it may not be so bad as the body makes sure to improve the built-in shock absorption. To a certain extent, of course. See you in another video. Ultra Marathon. When you like to hallucinate but don't want to support crime by buying magic mushrooms.